Hey guys! What's up? Alpha Lion Simba here and welcome to another episode of Amazing Animals of the Amazon. It's time we were up to some monkey business again because this video is on the brown capuchin monkey. Now, enough monkeying around, let's get started. Cue the intro. Fully grown brown capuchin weighs 4 to 10 pounds. Its head and body is 12 to 22 inches long, and its tail is 12 to 22 and a half inches long. The capuchin owes its name to its cap of dark hair, which has been likened to the hood worn by capuchin monks. Like most New World monkeys, such as howler monkeys and spider monkeys, capuchin monkeys have a prehensile tail, which helps them to grasp onto tree branches. The capuchin lives in noisy, mixed gender troops of five to 30 members. The majority of the troop contains more females than males, and juveniles make up half of the total. Each troop is led by a dominant male, and his role varies from keeping the peace to serving as sentry. Like all social primates, capuchins spend a lot of time grooming each other as it helps keep coats clean and reinforce social bonds between the adults. And females tend to prefer mutual grooming with other females. The dominant male receives the most attention and gives little in return. As is the case with most monkeys, capuchins are omnivores. In the wild, they eat fruit, nuts, seeds, flowers, leaves, insects, and small vertebrates. And, like chimpanzees, capuchins have been observed using tools. For example, they use rocks like hammers to crack open nuts. And... When the troop goes out to forage for food, the dominant male always gets the first pick of the ripe fruit. Female capuchins have only one baby at a time, which is born after a gestation period of 160 days. Soon after the birth, other members of the troop show great interest in the new arrival. The nosy relatives distract the mother by grooming her and, while doing so, sniff, groom, and lick the infant. The helpless newborn spends its first month clinging to its mother's fur. From the second month, when it is more than capable, the mother begins to carry the youngster under her arm. By its third month, the young monkey is more independent 
and starts to climb and experiment with food. At six months, the baby seeks contact with older members of the troop, although it continues to suckle from its mother for up to a year. Male capuchin monkeys reach maturity at eight years old, while females reach maturity at three to four years old. And capuchin monkeys can live to be 35 to 45 years old. The brown capuchin monkey is listed as least concern on the IUCN red list, but some small populations are in decline because of habitat loss and the illegal pet trade. Nonetheless, however, the capuchin is common over much of its range and its ability to reproduce in large numbers means that it's not in any immediate danger. Well, that was it. My amazing animals of the Amazon video on the brown capuchin monkey. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave requests in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Alpha Lion Simba, out.